Hello and welcome to BLW. Today I'm going to be doing a bulk Lego haul. So I have this bag right here. It's about two pounds worth of Legos from my local toy store. Now they actually sell these for um, $10 for one of these uh, gallon size bags. And it's pretty cool because they basically just have two giant totes that are filled with Legos and, you know, as they get empty, they refresh them and fill them up more. And you basically get to go in and pick out what you want and put them in this bag. So today I went ahead and went over there, filled up this bag full of Legos, um, grabbing some specific pieces and also just kind of grabbing some bulk pieces. So let's go ahead and see what we got today and whether or not today's bulk buy was worth it. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and empty this out and sort these out so I can go ahead and show you guys what my favorites are and what ones I think were the best value. Now what I went ahead and did was took my favorite pieces out of the bulk bag. As you can see back there by Boba Fett, we still have a good amount of Legos in there. In fact, I'd still say we have about 70% of the Legos in there. So all that is basically extra bulk that I went and grabbed and wasn't the specific pieces. But let's go ahead and look at my favorite pieces. So, we got four of the curved wall pieces. Now, I do really like these, especially for building towers and castles. Now, Lego sells these on the online pick a brick for about a dollar each. So right here is already $4. We're going to go ahead and push that off to the side. Then we have this curved wall piece. Now, sadly, I only did get one of them. Um, but these usually are about $0.57. Cents. So we got four fifty right there. Now, I'm really excited about this one. And it will be really funny because when I show it, it will probably be a letdown. But black minifigure legs. Um, so the reason I'm excited about this is because usually they remove all the minifigure parts and they sell the minifigures separately. And usually those are a bit more expensive. So just getting some extra legs um, added in is pretty good. I think those are like $0.60 cents, um, on the pick-a-brick. So we'll just say that we're at an even $5 just from these. See, we got a door frame. Sadly, no door, but I do have lots of extra doors. Now, we do have one of these boxes, and I actually haven't even checked to see if there's anything in it. Um, there's not. But, you know, these boxes are great for mailboxes, or this one I actually might use as kind of a um, deposit box, because I do want to try to build my own bank out of some Legos, so we can add that in. Um, I don't have the prices for that one. Now we do have a translucent wall edge, which is pretty cool. Then I just like it whenever there's a design on something. So this, you know, you can either make like a stopping thing like this, or you can make like a crosswalk. Um, then we're just gonna kind of do a quick various ones thing so we got a flower we have a pink tap which first time i think i've seen a pink one um a speedometer and a yellow ignit go ahead and put those over there now we have this um which appears to be a shield that a minifigure can hold or honestly it was probably the spoiler to a car now that i look at it but in my head, it's for minifigures. So that's pretty neat. Now, I did find these wheels in there. and I don't think I specifically grabbed these. I think they were just kind of a bulk find thing. And I'm really just guessing here. But based on how these wheels look, I'm going to guess they were pretty old. Um, then we just got some more various things. Um, this long stick thing. You know, a nice flame. And another type of stick thing. 
I know I'm being real descriptive there. So then we have this um, square rounded plate. To me, this could be good for like a baseball plate or something. So I thought it was really nice. Now we do have what looks like two random droid arms. Now I actually don't know what this would go to. But I believe this goes to the bigger Star Wars droids. Which is good because I do have one of those. So having any extra parts for those is good because I have heard they're pretty brittle. Again, we just have another piece with a design on it. Um, we've got some windows, a little half door, kind of like a castle slash church window. Um, this is just, you know, oops, one of those stand pieces, basically. The main reason I pulled this out separately is because I do plan on using these to make the lines in my bank for like the teller lines. Now we do have um, this piece right here. Now I'm sure that there is an official name for what this piece is, but when I see pieces like this, all I can think of are the R droid bodies. So I decided to pull that aside separately. Now we do have this nice post. I do already have a few of these from sets I had as a kid, but I really like how they look and they're, they'd be great for, you know, a concert or fashion show display. I believe when I was a kid, this was specifically for like a villains um, layer and that's why I have a bunch. But to me, they scream like concert stage setup or, you know, like the friends Lego set, like they could have this as a set piece, I guess. Now we do have um, this mountain rock piece right here. On Pick-A-Brick, this goes for about $3.15, I believe. So with the other ones that I knew the price of, we're already up to um, $8.15. And you know, that doesn't include all the stuff back there or the ones that I just went through that I didn't have the price for. Now, we do have a window right here. Um, there's no pane in it or anything. These would be really useful for my bank set if they were in gray. Um, but maybe I'll have to do some recoloring because I think I do have a few of these red ones. Then of course we have a staircase. Always love to get some extra staircases. Now, this is really just a bunch of orange bricks. Now one of them does have a little life preserver thing on it, but I really just like orange bricks and having them. So add that into the pile. Then it appears that I actually found the parts to, I'm going to assume an airplane um, they could be for a boat too, but there are little holes in the bottom. So I definitely picked out the front and the back, but I think I got the middle just by accident. And who knows, there could have been more pieces and it could have been even longer. And then I did get this, which appears to be some sort of Lego top. Um, I'm gonna have to do some more research into this because I feel like I vaguely remember seeing stuff like this when I was a kid. But it'd be interesting to like get it going or something and see, you know, how it works. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with that find. And then the last thing I'm gonna show is another collection. And I actually think these may all have been from the same set or at least most of them, I should say, is all these translucent orange pieces. So, I don't know, this has kind of like a hobbity feel to it, I guess, because it's a wizard, but you can see he's like digitally going away. 
then we just have you know more of them basically this one might not be from the same set because it does have a sticker on it and it just doesn't seem to match but like these are matching wing plates we got these matching we got this now this one also is probably different just because it's a different color but since a lot of these sets are just kind of discarded around the same time and then put into the big box it's possible that these are all from the same set so this is my main collection from the bulk set and then of course we have all the extra pieces that are in here that will be being added to my brick collection i am really impressed with this i'm gonna be honest i was a bit sad at first because the selection wasn't as great as the first time i went in and got stuff but after going through the bag i'm really happy with what i got and once again it was definitely worth it so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this look at my bulk lego buy if you want to see me do this again in the future please leave a comment down below um you know they're really close to my hometown and it's always good to support a small business so i'd be happy to go in there and do this again so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video. Thanks for watching.